Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this retro romantic bracelet. It's really easy to make, it's like a beginner's level tutorial, so I'm sure you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. So if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done, like I have earrings matching this bracelet and I'll link them here at the eye icon to see. And also I will be so glad and so honored to have you as my viewer. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials and to link to my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are 11 OC beads in black color and 8 OC beads in silver color. I'm also using here a toggle clasp, but you could use any type of clasp you like. And here I use two jump rings. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now guys, I'm going to take a comfortable length of thread on my needle, let's say about half an arm span, and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I'm going to start my work first by picking up four of these beautiful silver Ato beads. Okay, and I'm going to slide those down and I will stick my needle in my mat. And now I have this and I'm going to make here a knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and pull. And then I'm going to make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. Okay, now I have this beautiful cross of four beads, also called right angle weave. Okay, and this whole tutorial will be with crosses of four. And now what I need to take next is one black bead. And I'm going here through this silver. Then I'm taking one more black. Go here through this one. One more black bead. Go through the next silver. And what I do here is a really simple thing. I surround my silver beads with 11 o seed beads. By the way, you could use 10 o, 10 o's as well, okay? So now I have this. And in my next step, I wanna make the same cross of four beads. But this time I will take three beads. Why three? Because here I already have one silver bead and I will go through it and my two elements will, will share this middle bead here and what I do is that I go in this direction and here where I don't have black beads I will add them okay because these two middle black beads are shared between my elements and there I don't need to add any new black beads to make the same element again but here at the edge I need to add two black beads okay okay I added those then what I do is that I go in this direction go here through this silver one and now I'm going to make a third element like those two and I will take the same thing. Three silver beads. Then I'm going back in circle. And I have a cross of four again. Then I will do the same thing. I'm taking one black bead. Go here to fill in the gap between my silvers. Okay, like this, then one more black bead 
and I'm filling this gap as well. And here I could make some reinforcement of this last silver element. So now I'm exiting out of this silver here. And here at this stage, I want to cut this tail thread. I don't need it anymore. And it will be on my way if I let it stay. Okay, so here I want to make the same thing from this side. So I'm exiting out of this silver here. And I'm going to take three more silvers and I'm going back through this one like I did before, making a right angle weave. And then I go through this silver here, take one black, fill the gap like I did before, and one more black, and go through this silver here. Okay, I have this. Now guys, I need to make here another element, but see, it has two neighbors, this one and this one. So, I go here at this silver bead. And here I already have one silver and one more silver. And if I want to make a cross of four silvers, I need to take only two silvers to finish this element, okay? Because here I have two neighbors. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, don't worry. When I was beginner, I also didn't understand. So here I have only one gap to fill. Just follow the instructions and everything will be okay. When I say take two, take two. When I say take three, take three. That's it. Okay. So go in this direction and exit here through this silver. Now I need to make another element and since I already have two neighbors and two silver beads, I need to add two silvers to finish my cross or my right angle weave and only one black bead to finish this one. Okay. Then I feel like making a reinforcement of this step here. This last step. And I want to make here something like a square or a rhombus. That is why I will make another row like this. And how I start this row, I take three silvers go back here through this silver like this because you see here I have only one neighbor that is why I took three to have uh, the, my final count four okay now I'm exiting here and I need to fill two gaps when I start a new row I start with three beads, adding three silver beads. Okay. Then I exit here. And I'm going to take two silver beads. Go back. Go here. And here what I need is only one black bead. Okay. And of course, I need to make my last element here at the edge. And in this element, I already have my first two silver beads added. So what I need to add here are only two silvers. And this square here, guys, that I did 
You could make it in any size, smaller, bigger, and in the earrings I'm showing how to make it bigger. Just make, uh, let's say, four rows in this direction and four rows in this direction, and you will have a square. Okay. So now, guys, because this is the first element of my bracelet, what I want to do here is make a loop of beads where later I will attach my jump ring. Okay, and in order to do this, I'm picking up six black beads, just like this, and I'm going back in circle through this one. Okay, and what I need to do next is a reinforcement. Okay, I did this reinforcement and here I'm going in this direction uh, and my goal is to reach here this silver bead, okay? I'm exiting out of this one here, if you don't see my thread here it is. And now what I want to do is take three silver beads and as I'm exiting out of this one I'm going back in circle like this. Now I'm going to start my next element which will be connected to this one. Okay, I will show you how I'm doing it. Okay, now I take one black bead, I go here, then I take one more black bead, and I go here, okay, like this. Here I will make another element. Okay, now I did uh, two elements and because uh, here my squares will be overlapping, this is the design, uh, here I have one, two, three elements and this one overlaps between my two uh, squares that I'm making. Uh, that is why here I'm, I will start my next row and I'm taking three and I'm going back like this. I will make another element here. Then I will make another one, but this time, like I did before, I will take only two silver beads because here I already have two of my previous to neighbor elements and here I'm adding one black bead okay then I'm exiting in my next silver and I will do the same thing that I did here Okay, now I will start another row the same way I showed you before. Okay, and now I finish this one like that. I just need to add two beads here. Like this. And 
and here I'm adding one black bead okay you see guys now unfortunately my thread is over almost over and I won't have enough thread to make another element like this that is why I want to cut this thread find the place to cut it and I want to add a new thread okay now here I will make a loop like this then I will go twice through the loop I've made okay twice and pull then I will go through the following seed bit and you could repeat this knot several more times make a loop go twice go through the following seed bit and then cut your thread okay and now guys i will put a new thread on my needle and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay and now guys i have a new thread on my needle and what i do next is that i want to attach this new thread here to my work and how i attach it I go through some beads. It is the same way I cut it, by the way. I go here through some beads. What I do then is that I make a loop and I'm holding my tail thread with my thumb. And here you see I have a loop of thread. And I go twice through this loop, like this, and pull. Okay. Then I go here. In this direction then my goal is to exit here if you remember I was here when I started this element here at this point so now I will cut this tail thread And now from here on, guys, what I do are two right angle weaves like this. Then I will go back and make three. And then I will go back and make three more like I did before. If I forgot how I'm doing this, just rewind the video from this point where I'm starting the second one and you will see how I do this. Okay, now I will make more and more of those elements. You could also rewind the video and make more and more of them if you don't remember how I'm doing it. And uh, when you feel you have long enough bracelet, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and this is what I have now. And I'm here at the end. And what I want to do is make a loop here okay and in order to do this i'm going to take the same thing i took before and i have six seed beads and i'm going back in circle here and i want to reinforce this loop Okay, now after I reinforce this loop here, I will do the familiar knot that I showed you. Make a loop, go once, go second time here through this loop I've made, and pull. Then go through some beads in this direction, and of course you could repeat this knot several times. And when you make the last knot, go through one of or two beads. After that, and cut your thread. Okay, now I have my bracelet almost ready. 
Okay, and now I'm going to attach my jump ring and my clasp to my work. So uh, I'm taking my pliers and I open up this jump ring here. And then I put it here at this loop of beads. And then I put my clasp. And what I do is that I squeeze back in the same direction as I opened this jump ring. And now I have this and I'm going to repeat this from the other side of my bracelet. Okay guys, so now my bracelet is ready. I have my clasp attached from both sides. So if you like what I'm showing you here and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't and in this way you will be inspired often usually two times a week. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips.